So we see from an Intel perspective a huge demand in on the edge. So workloads are actually moving out of the data centers towards production floors, shop floors. There's a lot of edge computing that happens and there is a set of new requirements like the real-time requirements that we're actually talking about here at Hanover Messe. So um, we have a long, long-standing relationship with Canonicals, so they have enabled and optimized the their Linux distribution for Intel technologies, Intel innovations. We just recently brought IoT images to the market that are Intel optimized and just out of the box enable a set of key new Intel features. And it was just very natural to do the step here for real time as well and collaborate to get the Intel TCC features embedded in Ubuntu and go to market together so that joint customers can just simply take Intel Silicon and the um, Ubuntu Linux operating system and start building their application on it. And obviously a plus was also the usage of Ubuntu in the developer ecosystem. So because that's, that's just key in this context, a lot of these solutions are being developed and the ease of use for a developer to just get you know, a pre-integrated stack and know the technology is enabled and even supported from a canonic perspective is, I think, really a plus. And another aspect here to understand is that we are truly looking at an overall real-time stack. So from the underlying hardware all the way to the operating system, the networking and user space layer. And a real-time kernel on its own will not necessarily make your system real-time. Often your hardware configuration has to be set up for it, and even the most efficient RTOS could be useless in the presence of other latency syncs. So tuning for each distinct system is often required. And this is the reason why we decided to partner with Intel so that we can optimize the entire real-time stack from the underlying silicon to the operating system layer as well as networking with Ethernet-based TSN.